Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I'm sitting here in my Christmas sweater with my Christmas earrings on because I'm talking about Christmas. Specifically, I'm doing the very Merry Christmas tag, so stay tuned. Okay guys, now I love talking about Christmas. And today's video is actually a really fun collab created by myself and my friend Becky over at the channel, A Place to Nest. Now I've actually collabed with Becky several times before and she is awesome. I definitely recommend that you check out her channel, especially if you're looking for recommendations on holiday gifts because she has some awesome gift guide videos. You'll definitely wanna check them out. So Becky and I got together and we came up with Christmas related questions, which she is also gonna be answering on her channel today so don't forget to check that out I will link it down below and then at the end of this video I'm gonna be tagging several other awesome YouTube moms that I'm hoping will keep this tag going because it's very interesting to find out what other people think about Christmas and what you have in common now let's get started question number one is what are your feelings on Black Friday shopping are you brave and head out with the crowds or do you shop online or do you avoid it all together now, when I was younger, my mom and I did go out on Black Friday, like 5 a.m., and we did the whole crowd, big crowd thing, and I actually really liked it. But nowadays, since I'm older and I have little kids, I don't do that anymore. I stay home, I do like to shop online, if there's something I think is worth buying. Otherwise, I just shop some other time in the season. I try to avoid the crowds these days, if I can. Question number two. What is my most favorite gift that I've ever given? Now this is a really hard question because I've given a lot of presents throughout the year and I really enjoy giving presents to my kids because I love to see their face light up with excitement. But I have to say my most favorite one that I've ever given was probably a sentimental one that I gave to my mom. Several years ago I picked her up a little box jewelry set and I think it came with earrings and a necklace but the necklace said mom on it and it was a heart necklace and it really wasn't expensive it wasn't like fine jewelry or anything um, but when she saw it and she saw that it said mom on it she got teary-eyed so I know that she really liked it and it just goes to show that it's not like the money that you spend on a gift it's the thought and how it makes someone else feel so definitely that was my favorite question number three Christmas cards yay or nay if you do send them out what style do you go with do you do traditional photo, funny, or classy. I do Christmas cards and I love to do Christmas cards, but it's kind of tricky because every year I try to top the previous years and it's kind of hard. Personally, I like to go with a funny Christmas cards and it's usually starring my kids. I like to set them up in some Christmas jammies, doing something funny, and then usually I will Photoshop the picture to look like they're doing something funny. I'll go ahead and put some pictures in here so you can see the cards from past years. But yeah, I love Christmas cards and I specifically love funny Christmas cards. Question number four. If you were a Christmas elf, what would your specialty be? A reindeer wrangler, chief decorator, toy maker, gift wrapper, baker, or management? Well, off the top of my head, I would say management, but to be honest, I'd probably like to be a baker elf, most of all, because most of my uh, employment history has been food related. I worked with Krispy Kreme, I worked with edible arrangements, so I like to make fun looking food. So yeah, I would be a food elf. Now my next question's probably gonna be controversial to a lot of people out there, because it's about eggnog. Do you pour a tall glass or do you throw it in the trash? I know some people really like it and some people really hate it, but I personally love it. I think it's really good. I think it's like liquid ice cream. Some of it can be too sweet and too thick, but overall I really like eggnog. I probably shouldn't. It's not very good for you, but I think it's really good. Question number seven. What is your Christmas decorating style? Do you like classic red and green, shabby chic, country or farmhouse, jewel toned, and does your style change from year to year? Well, the first part of the question, I would say my decorating style is kind of minimal. I don't usually put out a ton of stuff over the last few years, but that's mostly because I have little kids and no matter how many times I tell them not to touch my stuff, they, they still do. So they're learning what not, they're still learning. But, so yeah, it's been kind of minimal, but 
I do like the whole country farmhouse sort of handcrafted look and I kind of tend to stick to more of the um, red, white, and green motif. Question number eight. What is my favorite childhood Christmas memory? Hmm, I'd say where I grew up in my town, it was a big deal to do a lot of Christmas lights on the exterior, like on your house, in your front yard. And we used to have these neighborhoods that would go all in, like every single house would put out a ton of lights. Now it wasn't my neighborhood, but it was in my city. So every year we'd load up in the car, all of us kids and even my cousins sometimes would come with us and we'd drive around and we'd look at all the really highly decorated houses and I remember as a kid being like whoa look at that house that's amazing and I always thought when I grew up I wanted to have a house with a ton of lights and all of that but to tell you the truth I'm not I kind of do just like the the minimal classic lights and stuff on the outside I don't go I don't go crazy but when I was a kid I thought that was really cool if you could borrow Santa's sleigh on Christmas Eve where in the world would you go now that's pretty pretty out there for a question and since we're already being unrealistic I would say I would take it back to my hometown but I would take it back in time to like 1990 when I was a kid and for Christmas time my whole family would get together all of my cousins, my grandparents, my grandma, everybody from the family would be there. And I would find my younger self and I would say, hey, appreciate what you have and take it all in. Because when I was a kid, you know, I loved, I loved my family and I loved Christmas, but I didn't take full advantage of being there with my family and I didn't appreciate it. Because nowadays that doesn't happen. All of my grandparents have since passed on and a lot of my family, is, they've moved away, and so I'll never have you know, all of the family for Christmas again like I did back in the 90s. So I would go back to that time just to relive that and like appreciate it. Okay, last question. What is your favorite ornament? And show it if possible. Now to be honest with you guys, I'm filming this video a couple days before Thanksgiving and I actually haven't put out my Christmas decorations yet. Now I know a lot of people, especially on YouTube, they already have their Christmas trees up and fully decorated, but I don't. And that's because I'm actually having my family over to my house for Thanksgiving and for Christmas and I don't want my house to be decorated for Christmas for both dinners, if you know what I mean. I want it to be Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving, and I want to have Christmas on Christmas, but that's just me. So all of my decorations are still up in the attic. So when my husband gets home, I might ask him to go up to the attic to find my favorite ornament, and then I will show it to you. So hang on. Okay guys, now back to that favorite ornament. My husband got home and he gave me the container of ornaments, but as I was going through it, I realized that I no longer have a favorite ornament. Now I've shared this story a couple times before, but a couple years ago, the kids and I, we were decorating the Christmas tree, and I don't know what happened, but my box of most fragile ornaments got knocked over, and a lot of them broke, the glass ones broke. So I don't actually have my favorite anymore, but I do have a couple of ornaments that survived because they were not made of glass that I can show you. Now, long before we had kids, my husband and I used to travel a lot. We traveled across the country and to some different to some different countries and everywhere we went we picked up different ornaments. So I have a couple that I can show you. The first one here is from the Hoover Dam and you can see it has a little picture of the Hoover Dam on there. And then we picked up this one. This is a little felt buffalo and we picked this one up at Yellowstone. And then I have this really cute little Irish dancer girl. My husband and I visited BAM in Canada and I found this store that is always, they always sell Christmas things. And I found this little Irish dancer. And I actually used to be an Irish dancer when I was younger, so I thought that was really cute. So they're definitely not my favorite. They're still really cute. I guess I'll just have to make a new favorite. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave the questions to this tag video in the description box below if you'd like to do it yourself. And I'm gonna go ahead and tag several other YouTube moms as well. Now I hope that they'll do this tag video because I'd really like to find out what they think about Christmas. But if they don't have time to do the tag video, I totally understand. With Christmas and being a YouTube mom, things get crazy. But I'm gonna go ahead and tag Kimmy at She's in Her Apron, Jennifer at The Daily Connoisseur, 
Jessica at Summers in Alaska, Di at Being Mommy with Style, and Fallon at Moss Family TV. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.